Semi-classical gravity is the approximation to the theory of quantum gravity in which one treats matter fields as being quantum and the gravitational field as being classical. In semi-classical gravity, matter is represented by quantum matter fields that propagate according to the theory of quantum fields in curved spacetime. The spacetime in which the fields propagate is classical but dynamical. The curvature of the spacetime is given by the semi-classical Einstein equations, which relate the curvature of the spacetime, given by the Einstein tensor g mu g to the expectation value of the energy momentum tensor operator t mu nu display style t underscore mu nu of the matter fields g mu nu equals eight pi g c four t Carrot mu mu psi display style g underscore mu mu equals frac eight pi g c carrot four left wrangle hat t underscore mu mu right wrangle underscore psi where g is Newton's constant and psi display style psi indicates the quantum state of the matter fields topic <laughs> stress energy tensor There is some ambiguity in regulating the stress energy tensor and this depends upon the curvature this ambiguity can be absorbed into the cosmological constant, Newton's constant, and the quadratic couplings d d x minus g r two display style int d caret d x s q r t g r caret two and d d x minus g r mu mu r mu mu Display style int d carrot d x s q r t g r carrot mu nu r underscore mu nu. There's also the other quadratic term d d x minus g r mu nu row sigma r mu nu row sigma display style int d caret dx sqrt g r caret mu nu row sigma r underscore mu nu row sigma but in four dimensions this term is a linear combination of the other two terms and a surface term see gauss bonnet gravity for more details since the theory of quantum gravity is not yet known it is difficult to say what is the regime of validity of semi-classical gravity 
However, one can formally show that semi-classical gravity could be deduced from quantum gravity by considering n copies of the quantum matter fields, and taking the limit of n going to infinity while keeping the product g n constant. At diagrammatic level, semi-classical gravity corresponds to summing all Feynman diagrams which do not have loops of gravitons, but have an arbitrary number of matter loops. Semi-classical gravity can also be deduced from an axiomatic approach. <laughs> Experimental status There are cases where semi-classical gravity breaks down. For instance, if M is a huge mass, then the superposition 1 2 M at A plus M at B Display style frac one sqrt two left left m text at a right wrangle plus left m text at b right wrangle right, where a and b are widely separated, then the expectation value of the stress energy tensor is m two at a and m two at b, but we would never observe the metric sourced by such a distribution. Instead, we decohere into a state with the metric sourced at A and another sourced at B with a 50% chance each. Applications The most important applications of semi-classical gravity are to understand the Hawking radiation of black holes and the generation of random Gaussian distributed perturbations in the theory of cosmic inflation, which is thought to occur at the very beginnings of the Big Bang. <laughs> Notes <laughs>